Hello and welcome to my channel. It's Jess with Love to Plan with Jess. And today I have two August monthly spreads here that we're going to decorate. One of them for my catch-all and one of them for my wellness planner. But I thought that I would decorate one of them using a Planner Kate kit and one of them just using some Live Love, Pl Live Love Posh Spring Allure stickers. So we're going to give that a try. I think we will do the Live Love Posh uh, Spring Allure stickers in my wellness uh, monthly first because I think that one will probably take a little bit longer. Uh, I don't know. Sometimes the creativity just comes to me and sometimes it doesn't. So we will just see. I have uh, the Live Love Posh Spring Allure sticker book and I was thinking of using these uh, like florals and flamingos. Now these stickers are really big, so I'm not sure how it's gonna work in a monthly, but we're going to figure it out together. Let's scoot this up a little bit so that we are in frame. So I'm thinking we can take this floral sticker. It is going to cover up. I was hoping that it wouldn't cover up um, the fourth there, but I think it's going to. We can trim it just a little bit. Uh, or let me see if another one will fit better up there. I could put this one down in the bottom here and it's gonna take up most of the space on the 31st, but there'll still be a tiny, um, a tiny place to write. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna put this one here. And this is for my wellness planner. So the way that I use this calendar is every day I will write the workout that I do in each of the, the daily boxes. Now Saturdays are typically my rest day so I can just like write rest day really small right there and that should work out just fine. I would like to put some florals up here though. So let's see. This one I think would work. I would like to do a big one but I don't wanna cover up too much of the, so we have these two pages to work with. I don't wanna to, um, to cover up the dates if I can help it. So this one though, it's cut the wrong way unless I put it over here and I don't know that I wanna do that. So we could use this one. This might be too, let's see. I think we'll try with this one. Oh yeah, that'll work. So we can put that there. And I would love to do a little flamingo or like a, this like flamingo raft. I wonder if there's a way that we can use one of these uh, and sort of strategically place it so that it doesn't cover up the dates. Um, let's, let's try it. So I'm gonna take this one. Oh yeah, I think we can. Mm, no, it is going to cover up. I think no matter how I put it in here, it's going to cover up one of the dates. We can do it over here though in the sidebar. And while I have it out and I'm thinking of it, let's just put it right here. Like that, that's really cute. Okay, back to up here. I think I'm just going to put this just over here like in, in the corner, right there. And there's these two little quotes. This one says, let's party by the pool. And this one says, grab a, grab a drink and let's Flamingle, <laughs> that's cute. So which one, I, I'll probably use both of them in the spread. Um, let's just decide which one we wanna put where. So I'm gonna take them both out and I'll probably put one of them in the sidebar and one of them up here. I think this one will fit up here better just because it's a little bit smaller. So let's put this one um, I kind of want it down here. 
Let's put it right here. And then this one we'll put over here. And I'm gonna put it right here, kind of in between Tuesday and Wednesday so that we don't cover either of those up. Oh, and this is my wellness planner. So I do usually put some, so let me move this up. I usually put some um, statistics in the sidebar. So let's see, can I move this guy? Um, actually, I'll leave that where it is and I can just put a box here and a box here. Um, and I do statistics um, like at the beginning of the month and the end of the month. So let's just grab a couple of boxes. Now there are boxes in the back of this book, but the colors aren't great, honestly, for this set of stickers. Um, I know that there are a, a bunch of different, there's like two full sets of colors in here, but there's a lot of different stickers. So I know that they can't make the perfect boxes to match like every single theme of stickers in here. But I do have Mojo Jojo um, Functional Series 2, and I have the regular one and the pastel uh, version. And so between the two, we will have um, like the perfect color matches. And I think in this one, I liked the yellow. I think we'll do this brighter yellow. So I'll do... I wonder if I should do both of them. I'll do a box up here and then a box here. Will a box fit? No, it's gonna cover that up. So I'm gonna just do both of the boxes up here at the top. So I'll put one box here. That will be like my stats for the start of the month. And then let's do a, I think a blue or a pink. I think I want a pink one. And I think I'm gonna sort of off-center them a little bit. There we go. Okay, now we can fill this little spot in with some kind of decor and could do a floral or maybe we'll do like this beach ball. Oh, I like these strawberries. Those are fun. Or maybe how, how about let's do these, these beach balls. There we go. That fills that space in nicely. Okay, we need to fill in up here too. So let's see, how about this little like pineapple drink? That looks really good, except, let's see. I know I put this here because I wanted it to go in between the Tuesday and the Wednesday so that we didn't cover either of those days up, but then it sort of leaves like an awkward space. So I'm gonna see if I can. I'm gonna put this here. Uh, let's cut. First, let's take that sticker off my finger so that I can use a pair of scissors correctly. Just gonna cut the bottom off of that and we'll put this here. And now let's take, let's party by the pool and I can just scoot it down a little bit it's gonna go into that box on the sixth, but it's not covering up the date. Um, so I think that works. Let's go in with some more of these boxes, just taking this like yellow color, the pink color, and maybe a blue. So which blue did I like better? Was it this one? Yeah, it was this one. So I'm gonna take two of these blue boxes And I'm just going to put one on each side of the page. Oops, I need to scoot that over. And these boxes aren't going to signify anything special. They're just here for some decor. 
So we have a box there, and then let's put another one maybe up here on the second. And let's grab two yellow and two pink. So the pink was in this regular functional boxes book. So let's grab two of these. And I'll put one here and one here. And let's take two yellow. Um, I think I'm going to put this box here, kind of layered over that floral on the bottom like that. And then a one here on the 20th. Now we can go in and put some of these smaller like icon stickers. And uh, what I love about these small ones is we can just sort of put them um, just kind of anywhere in the spread and uh, it'll still leave me space that I can write on that day, but then it just adds a little bit of decor. So I'll put that little fun fruity drink there. We have this like super yummy looking cake. Let's put that up here. I love this little flamingo. I think it's a flamingo dish with like some macaroons on it. Macaroon or macaron, I never had to know how to say that. So we're gonna put this uh, beach ball. Let's put it like over here. And let's put this one down here. Again, I'm just gonna cut the bottom off. There we go. Oh, I did say I liked these strawberries and I don't even know if you can see them or if this book is too far off to the right, um, but there's these cute little like chocolate covered strawberries. Uh, let's, put, let's put one of them in this box over here and then maybe one of them over there. We can even put a couple of them like up here in these empty spaces. And this is like a watermelon popsicle. That's kind of cute. Um, maybe we can put that down there. There's another beach ball. Let's do another strawberry with that beach ball. We need a little something for right here. Hmm, what should we put there? How about an ice cream cone? The smaller one or the bigger one? I think the smaller one and then maybe with a strawberry. Let's add in one more set of boxes and we'll use, um, from pastel boxes, we'll use this green. And I wanna just put one more box on each side because I feel like it's, uh, it could use another box. So maybe one here. Mm. I can move this over to the first. Oops, I ripped it, oh no. I'll grab another one. Put this one on the ninth. And this one on the fifth or maybe on the 25th. There we go. And then let me grab another blue one to put on the first. Okay, so I'll put this one here. There we go. I think this one is all set. Let's move on to the monthly for my catch all. For the second monthly for my catch-all, we are going to use this Planner Kate uh, kit. This is a Happy Planner Classic Kit 
uh, kit 636, and this is the R1 and the R3. There is another, like an R2, I think, that has some, um, I think it's like a bunch of different icons and things, but I didn't order that one. So we have these um, to work with, and let's get started just by putting the these headers on here. So I'm going to put this August. I'm trying to line it up just like that and then we will do the same thing on the other side with this other one this is like the back to school kit um, since my son does go back to school in August um, which does make me kind of sad I'm not gonna lie um, I decided to get the the little back to school kit I think that there are maybe like two different versions of um, these kits that you can get Next, I'm going to put the days of the week in here. So uh, the really cool thing about these kits, and I've said this before, is that um, if you prefer a Monday start to your calendar, you can very easily um, switch this up and redate it using um, a Monday start. I do prefer a Sunday start in my calendar, so I'm just going to redate it the, the way that the calendar already was. Um, but that would be, it would be very easy to, um, to change this to be a, uh, a Monday start calendar. Looks super cute already. Next, let's put the dates in. Now this is going to take a little bit of time, um, but I do it because I think it makes such a big impact. Um, you know, it, it's going to take me what, maybe three minutes to um to date all of these and I think that it, it really makes a big difference so you know I take a few minutes and do it um I'm going to do it off camera though so that you don't have to watch me um put these numbers in here so I'm going to add these to the calendar and I'll be right back I'm all done dating the calendar and now let's do a little decorating and putting in some functions so um, I have been putting in um, one of these boxes with like hello either June, July, or August uh, and I think that we will do that in um, this spread too in holiday quotes uh, there. Uh, here it is, hello August. So there was a hello June, a hello July, and then this hello August. I have been using um, these in here to welcome the month and uh, I like how it looks inside that little box. I think that that looks really cool. There are also these uh, decorative boxes that are meant to either go in the sidebar or along the top here. And I'm thinking, should we put them along the top? I think let's put them along the top. So I'm going to put three of them up here along the top. And these are so cute. They have like a little flask and little like EMC e equals MC squared, a little apple. Okay, that fills in those spaces nicely. Now let's fill in um, all of my plans. So we have these boxes that we can use. Um, the first is National Planner Day and we have a sticker for that. So let's definitely put that in here. Um, we also, my husband and I are also flying home from a trip that day. So I will note that in this box. The second is payday. I have a couple of Planner Kate. Um, these were like freebies. When I placed an order, I got little like freebie samples. And there are actually three paydays in the month of August, which that's pretty exciting. Um, I think we'll use these little asterisks with the that little payday flag. And the paydays are on the second, the 16th, and the 30th. So let's put a little asterisk there and here 
and I'm just checking my little um, notes to the side to see if I had anything else on those three days. I don't think I do. Now we can use these payday stickers um, and which color should we do? Now I'm only gonna have two, so I'll probably do one color on the 2nd and the 30th and a different color on the 16th. So how about, I like this one, but we only have one of this color. So let's do this one on the 16th. And then for the 2nd and the 30th, I think this one works. The ninth is my father-in-law's birthday, and again, this is a uh, was a freebie that I got from one of my orders. Let's use let's use these gray ones. I'll put that there for for my father-in-law's birthday. What is next? On the 13th, I have an appointment and we have our cleaners um, that are going to be coming to clean the house. So I will put, and I said that was the 13th. So we'll put two of these in here. And then on the 20th, my son has a dentist appointment and it's a back to school, uh, back to school night. So we'll put two boxes here on the 20th. I think this one's a little crooked. There we go. The 21st is open house. And then the 22nd is the first day of school. My son is not going to be happy to be going back to school. <laughs> He's definitely enjoying summertime, as am I. And then uh, the next week, my son starts back um, at, with soccer. So he's gonna have practice on the 27th. He'll have practice on the 29th and then a game on the 31st. And I think that's it for the plans. So I think what I'm gonna do is grab a sidebar sticker from one of my like Mojo Jojo boxes and maybe add in a couple more of these guys and then we will be done with this one. All right, so similar to what I did for the other monthly spread that we just did, I pulled the regular functional boxes and pastel functional boxes, both series seven, because that's gonna be the sidebar um, size. And I'm just going to see which box is going to have the best color. This one matches really well, but we have a lot of blue on the page. So I'm kind of thinking like maybe that like orangey color, this could work or like a yellow. That's way too bright. <laughs> um, and I don't love that either. So I'm thinking possibly this color. What's the darker orange look like in here? Mm, I think that's too dark. Let's take a look at pastel boxes for like yellow and orange. All right, so I don't really like either of those yellows. I think we're gonna go with the regular um, functional boxes and we'll go with that orange color. So we'll take this sidebar box and put it up here. Oops. All right, and then there was a sticker that said this week, or this month, sorry, this month sticker, and I will put that here. Okay, and then we can add in, uh, 
I guess just fill in this space with these boxes. So I'll just put this one here. And I don't think that both of them will fit. So we're going to probably have to trim this one. Yeah, we're gonna have to trim it just a little bit. Um, is there one that actually lines up with that? I don't think so, huh? No. There we go. And then I'm just going to trim the very bottom of that off. All right, I think that's a wrap for both these spreads. This is the monthly for my catch-all and we used a planner cake kit. And I like how they both turned out and uh, they're both very different and creatively they're both very different too. Um, I enjoyed sitting down and decorating them both at the same time, like one using a kit and one not using a kit. And I definitely felt like this one I had to think creatively a little bit more um, because I just had a bunch of stickers and had to figure out where to put them on the page. With the kit, um, there are stickers that are meant to go a, in a certain place on the calendar, but I did still feel like I had to be creative with that one too. So um, I enjoyed them both. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video and enjoyed kind of seeing them both side by side. If you did, I would really appreciate if you hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.